This is episode 24 of the Podcraft Beer Show for Monday, December 28th, 2020. Today's show examines craft beers from the following breweries, Humble Sea, Ferris, Falcon, Electric, and Horus. <laughs> Welcome to the Podcraft Beer Show for Monday, December 28th, 2020. This is episode 24. Happy holidays. This is Tech Guy Steve with today's introduction for host Chris and Charlie. The goal of the show is to examine the best craft beer from Southern California and beyond. So today we have on the craft beer menu a fruited sour, a double IPA, then a triple IPA, and then we finish with um, an imperial stout. If you would like to subscribe to the show via your favorite podcast player app, then head over to thepodcraft.com and look for the subscribe links. You can also get all the links mentioned in this podcast, pictures of all the beers, pictures of some of the glasses that we had the beers in, and other good information at thepodcraft.com. This is the Podcraft Beer Show. I'm your host, Chris. Got your other host, Charlie. Yo! We got tech guy, (laughs) Steve. Hello, hello. We got a couple of beers today, Charlie. A couple Some beers we haven't good tried. Good lookers. Haven't tried a few of these before, but uh, well, let's uh, let's get started. I think we we got uh, we got we got three different beers and an after potty beer. We got a our first beer comes from Humble Sea. Mm. Super Pop. Humble. Sea. Hum- Humble Sea. Dang, I got to bring some napkins out here. So this uh, this here Humble Sea doesn't bit- smell very good. Good night. So, it smells amazing. Are you kidding me? Super Pop Party Mermaid. He brought his own napkin. Look at that. There Dad is. taught me right. There you go. <laughs> so it's uh, a that super looks like smooth, a hanky. Uh, it is a super hanky. food you smoothie. Know hmm? yeah. Pants work too. You're good. <laughs> we got a super food smoothie series. Uh, we got the Party Mermaid. Comes in at 8%. Yeah. It says gushing watermelon, guava, strawberry, smells lime, like and watermelon. vanilla. Watermelon. watermelon. Lots of watermelon. Steve and I over here. here. You know what? Hey, while we're doing this little pour here, I'm gonna I'm gonna interrupt this for you guys. I got a little something for you. Ooh. Yeah, no, that definitely smells uh it smells of just watermelon. You got a uh it's a nice what uh, what color do you call that? Peach there? Kinda. Charlie's got a got a little something, he said. Hey, Steve, uh, while we're waiting on Charlie, you have any good beers this week? I did. Uh, one of the beers we had when we were at Burning Beard is now in a can. The Were Vultures uh, Fair, the German-style Pilsner. That's a Whoa, phenomenal beer. look at that. Ooh. Well, Charlie just came through with some stickers. Wow. And, and a little something I, else. You guys are going to have to determine which, and a one, cup. Of want, which one of these. Uh, looky, uh, looky. Fight over the... Charlie cool coming hats. through with the old uh, with the old Yeti here with the uh, the, the little Merry Christmas mug. boys. Whoa! Thank you so much, little Podcraft Yeti. I like you for my coffee stouts in the morning. Yeah, or any hot liquid. Thank you so much. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Cheers to that. So as Steve was mentioning, Charlie, while you uh, while you stepped away, uh, we're Vultures Fair Burning Beards now available in cans. Yep. I thought you were going to bring me a can. I was going to, but I realized <laughs> you drank it all. These guys, so they, Steve, did you you went down there and picked up four pack? I did not. Somebody else. Did okay, I'll well, go there tomorrow. It's my birthday. So I went over there the other day when I when I saw that they had had it on uh, that that it was in cans. Uh, I shot over there and they, um, it, it was lunchtime. I was like, I'm going to go over and lunch. This I, I want to have this beer after work. I got uh, a pizza and a four pack, thirty bucks, right? Like that, like four pieces of pizza. Man, that that Four beer beers. and pizza went so well together. I'll bet. Pizza I thought it was beer bring, always work. Yeah, they also had a, a buy one get one free on their, um, uh, or buy one get one half off on their on their uh, sours and stouts. So I picked up a couple of Praise of Bacchus. They had uh, two different barrels. I saw that. Yeah, saw a picture of it. So um, the kids went uh, rogue and um, had those stickers made up for me, and. Uh, so I'm sharing them with you guys, and um, Sophie got me, um, my youngest daughter got me the uh, Yeti with the podcraft on it, so I said, hey, I need two more of those. 
So there you go, boys. I like that. I like and it. these hats I picked up at two different places, obviously, but I don't know what kind of hat guy you are, but I know he's a hat guy. He's a hat So guy. we got Burley Oak and Triple Crossing. So it's up to you guys. You're going to have to Burley fight Oak. amongst yourselves for those hats. Be uh, There'll be a video of me and Steve uh, uh, <laughs> wrestling leg <laughs> wrestling here uh, <laughs> shortly after this episode. <laughs> for the hat. <laughs> Yeah, Let's trade good you a luck. hat for some beer. Yeah. Let's get back to this. Yeah, so what do you guys think of that? It's amazing. It definitely smells um It's the best watermelon tasting thing I've ever had. You know, we we uh we had that that forager um uh the hop pop. This is lighter and you know, more crushable. That thing was really really rich and sugary. You know, this is super mild but awesome it, smell and taste. Definitely a lot of watermelon and you can taste that lime in there. Mhm. That's phenomenal. I've been trying to get some of these super pops for uh, uh, for a, for a minute. They've been um, finally. I was able to come uh, come up with a couple. I like it. It's very tasty. I mean, that's something I could drink all day. Yeah, I'm definitely a fan of that thing. Um, it's not super heavy. Like no, I think I had one of those creative creatures last night. The the one with mango in it. It's eight percent, and it you know it came out really really like. Like a slushy almost. Yeah. Like, and I, yeah. And I'm not, I, I like them, but I, but this is a different. 8% a different, here, boys. That's a lot of booze. I would agree. This is a, just really, really pretty, juicy, uh, but it's not super thick. Not super. I mean, it's got a great, great mouthfeel. Not too sour. And I think see it's good. I mean, you. I don't think I've tasted a bad beer from them they at all. Some, they make some really good beers. Yeah. They're, they're, I'm uh, a fan. They're good. They're good at what they're doing. I like it. Maybe we should start this too. Yeah, you that'll should. That'll probably that. be helpful. Now we can get on to real important stuff. No, that's good. Really creamy. I uh, I'm I'm a fan of that beer. I definitely would uh drink would. it. Let's so you drink had uh, uh praise the back area, excuse me. You had um Steve, you had mentioned uh uh the Bernie Beard beer that you had, had uh where Vultures Fair. Yep. Um phenomenal. That was so good. That was the best beer I had all week. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. I, I was uh, I was super excited. I was I, I was gonna bring one today, uh and and uh Pop that guy as well, uh, and then I realized I was out of him. <laughs> Unfortunately for yeah. me, yeah, me too. Well, uh, I I went on a little road trip, not road but trail, and uh, I I took some beers with me. I took a little bit of Aslan. I took a little bit of uh, Burley Oak. I took some um, of the Aslan that I popped, and I shared it with my buddy Jeremy on the trail. Was um, that uh, Stout with the uh, strawberry, uh, vanilla, and chocolate ice cream. That thing was super tasty. Was pretty good. Yeah, it's the stripes, ne- was Neapolitan. It? Yeah, the stripes. stripes. It was so good. I mean, that's just that was a night stopper for me. Fifteen percent alcohol. I took a little nap after that. I went to bed and slept well. Let's put it that way. It was excellent. We had a good time on the trail. I had a little misfortunate. Uh, Incident where a guy ran over a, you know, particularly large rock and popped his transmission open and uh, all the fluid fell out of it. So he was no longer driving that vehicle after that. So he got towed 25 miles on the trail to the freeway where we. AAA. Uh, yeah, AAA picked him up and hauled it to the local Ford shop. And uh, we went on about our way. He went with us. He jumped in the van and. Uh, I think I had a four-wheel drive van there, and uh, we went on our way and had a blast. I mean, 300 miles of trails in three days, what pretty it, crazy. So his, tra- I mean, he was he was kind of bummed out. But he was, but he's, I mean, he's a trooper, man. He just jumped yeah, in there. Like, what am I going to do now? With, yeah. I mean, it's the, you know, parts are going to, you know, they got to order them type right. of thing. It's going to be a week, right? Yeah. And so he says, let's go. You know, I'm not going to sit in Blythe for, you know, a week and a half. But uh, much fun as that sounds, <laughs> yeah, I know. Got me excited. Let me tell you. Oh my goodness! But no, we just uh, we went on our way and um, ended up in um, Parker, which is a kind of a neat little community, and uh, cut across the uh, the river there and got on the California side. Camped out there that night, and uh, and we camped out in a couple of beautiful places. I mean, I woke up, you know, to just this incredible landscape. Scape of uh, Suarez arrows, I guess they're called, and uh, the the cactus with the arms, and um, just beautiful desert scenery there. Sunrises and sunsets were amazing. I 
tried to miss all the sunrises, but uh, I saw a couple and um, saw all the sunsets and then some. But uh, stars out there are just amazing. When you're out in the dark, yeah. I mean, really, really dark. The Milky Way is like a shining star itself. It's so bright. I mean, Steve could tell us all about it. He's been there. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I uh, I didn't have nearly that experience. I think well, I, that's uh, unfortunate. Yeah, no, I drank. Uh, you were I, invited. I quite a bit of the, um, you know, I, I hung out and uh, did some land. Uh, did some uh, some trimming of some hedges instead. Oh, probably almost as much fun. Yeah, close. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was a whole lot of fun. 90 mile an hour through the desert. I don't know. It's hedge trimming. It's close, but I think the hedge trimming is a little more exciting. I I would agree. It probably is. <laughs> I um, didn't break anything, so that was the important part. Yeah. So. Yeah. No, that's uh, that's no, that's phenomenal. It was fun. Is this picking up on audio? These uh, crackling yeah, it's fire. A, it's I great. like that. We had a little bit of a construction noise last week. That was yeah. That was good. The neighbor was chiseling out his backyard or yeah. something i put a stop to that you notice there's no sound tonight <laughs> yeah you, yeah hammer <laughs> <laughs> drop the hammer on him i just had a few words with him here drink this would you please <laughs> what uh what's our what's our next beer there charlie we're gonna go with you got the 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 ferris falcon ferris their falcon. uh their first release so this uh this ferris falcon was a uh, uh, it's Mason Ale Works uh, and Horace Age Dales. It's they're coming together to make. Uh, uh, they they started this new brand, Ferris Falcon. Um, it's a hazy double IPA. It's called Split Second Glimpse of a Bird Hurtling Past and Away. Yeah, that's a. Uh, um, so there it is. It's a uh, double dry hopped IPA with Citra and Galaxy hops. Whoo! It's a hazy, my friend, and it's. Looks good and smells awesome. I mean that that color on there is phenomenal. Yeah, you can't the, beat that one right there. Um, so this release it, it was it released a couple weeks ago. I think we had, uh, um, you know the, the uh, so I, I don't think the first release went quite as they had. Well, I know it didn't go as they had wanted. <laughs> they uh, I, I got a I got an email from the the convocation the like the Horace Club the other day that said that uh, between Grant uh, between this bevy this platform that they use to to run the sales uh, and and Kyle uh, they had received four hundred emails about um, about the release and the shipment of people that were were setting up. Uh, you know, I had tried to have some some beer shipped to Nick and um, uh, it it. It showed it got picked up like on the first and then finally showed up a couple weeks later. So they, um, but they, they, you know, Kyle had just mentioned, he's like, uh, this was on, on, uh, I believe Friday. He had said that, that, um, everybody had received their beer at this point and, uh, and the beer is tasting as they had intended, uh, at this point. So they said that, that just the, the holiday shipping, man, that's phenomenal. Yeah, that's, right. <laughs> that's a super, super good beer. That citra really, really hey, comes through. you know what? I'm not shocked. <laughs> yeah. That they made a great beer. <laughs> oh, gosh, it's, I mean, that thing is what, what, 8% and, and just super, super smooth. It's good. Yeah, it's, I mean, the I hope this soft. is like their main beer. So their next beer, so it's their, um. Uh, their next beer is coming out. It's a collaboration with uh, uh, with Parish. Parish makes a beer called um, Ghost uh, Ghost in the Machine. is is kind of their hazy IPA. So they're gonna they're gonna do kind of a mashup between these two styles. That's that a movie. Be, should be yeah. coming out uh, in a couple weeks. Pretty sci fi. Yeah, yeah. They uh, so so we'll uh, we'll definitely give that one a run. Uh, they they said they're they're gonna wait for the release until after uh, the first of the year. This. This beer though is, I mean, is this going to be their their main canning line? It's going to be rotating. They're really? not going to have uh, a main beer. They're going to do uh, to start off with. Wow. It'll only be available through the the uh, the Mason uh, Ale Works, so the Mason Nation Club, and the and Horace Aged Ales. Uh, they, you know, at some point, I'm sure they'll expand. But they, this is the 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 brand that they had originally talked about starting and and starting like uh, some some little breweries, like kind of based off of. Uh, uh, War Pigs, uh, McKellar, and and Three Floyds. Uh, their um, their kind of mashup, their beer bar, where they 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 both sell their own brands as well as. Well, that, this is that something extra. I would want to be able to get, like every day of the week. Yeah, not going to happen. Wow, not going to happen. That's a that's a one timer. 
That's a great beer. It's phenomenal. So, so no kegs, no. Yeah, no, not at this Nothing. point. So we'll see what the you know what the what the future uh, what the future holds. But they definitely. Uh, I mean, I think they 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 certainly. They weren't happy with the release, which is great news, right? Because, you know, like I was a little frustrated over that. I mean, uh, obviously, there's a lot simple, of, minor mistake. You know, I think they, what, what wasn't taken into account, and who would have thought I that? I just like, think you blow things out of proportion. <laughs> they're, well, they're trying to send hundreds of boxes out. What happened oh, was like nine, they said that there was nine trucks. It took nine trucks to, to ship all the beer out because people would show up thinking, I don't know, the FedEx guy thinks he's going to pick up three boxes or whatever, FedEx, UPS, whoever yeah. it was. And, you know, there's a, loading dock full of boxes so it was just you know like that it just uh bad time unfortunate circumstances i think all the way around i think it was you're going to be need a bigger truck <laughs> yeah so the uh um which has happened to me uh fedex uh, in hawaii a couple times but that's it you know, stranded in hawaii waiting on a fedex box that's not a little a different gig. than waiting on beer yeah. during covid time uh, one's acceptable slide into the maui brewery there have no that's problem i would i would drink this every day that's a that's a great beer i mean i'm I'm shocked they're not going to have it available quite often. So hopefully, I mean, they'll just do something better than that and even, you know, kick it up a notch. I mean, I just, usually when you go to a place you got their go-to beer that's available, you know, that would be mine if I went there. No comment? There's no <laughs> there to go. Well, I know, yet, right? Yeah, no. So, yeah, so we'll see what the what the future holds with it. Uh, you know, they... um as as a first release, it's a phenomenal beer. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the, uh, it's crazy um, good. Yeah, so the uh, I'm that I'm would, excited about the that's about the in the the other half zone. You know, with that type of a hazy. Yeah, so I thought there was that's quality hazy beverage right there. Yeah, no, that's good. That's a really really good beer. Eight percent. You taste none of that. I'll tell you that right now. That's all fruity, hoppy deliciousness so soft on the palate so good want to roll into number three let's roll yeah i'd, I'd say uh no that's good nice creamy that's good what's this next beer you got charlie this one here is phantom of perfect form from electric brewing company in temecula Marietta, rather Marietta. sorry so, same yeah. area double dry so, hop indian pale l 10%? Yeah, a nice little triple. <sighs> Thanks, Chris. Yeah, so um the uh so electric, right? It's an all electric brewing company. Uh, they okay. they they brew with electric. Uh-huh. Uh so and, and probably and zero footprint or whatever. Yeah, I suppose at this point, you know, if they if they um oh gosh, I was up there the other day, I didn't take a look to yeah. see what their uh, you know, if they if they How had a big of shoes they were wearing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but they um Make phenomenal hazy IPAs. Obviously, um, so this this triple that is some very nice looking beer. Yeah, so they um, phenomenal beer. We've only been there one time, um, but they it's got a melony smell. Let's uh, give me just one second. Melony, you know, what are we showing here? Double dry hopped triple India pale ale, ten percent, like Charlie had said. It's heavy duty. Let's let's go in. Let's dive in and see what the. Uh, what do you think of that, Charlie? Thanks. Holy mother of God, that is good. Pretty smooth. Uh, wow, I get a really weird reaction on the back end. Do you? It's what a good reaction, but it's different. I mean, it just opens up real, real uh, hoppy on the back end. <sighs> Man, it tastes great. Yeah. It just, I mean, that first taste was super hoppy on the back end, and now it's totally mellowed out. Yeah. No, it, um, these guys make phenomenal beers. They're, um, uh, they're hazy IPAs or their, their releases are, are super sought after. They, um, sell out in a couple of minutes. Um, great little, little spot, Marietta, right off the freeway. Nice. We stopped in there one in there. time. Yeah. They they did a four fifty uh yeah four fifty release smoothie or slushy something it was red yeah. I remember that yeah no it was yeah it was super, good too super, <laughs> yeah it was really really good so this is a triple yeah it is a triple ten percent yeah ten percent where, where's, where's the alcohol, where's the alcohol yeah, exactly yeah. I know there's that's no, what, there's no alcohol 
That's I drank it all. It's all in my glass. Don't worry about like it. That. Throw that back, big Wait, boy. Take a smell of it. it. Smells like really melony. I think. Hey, don't steal my line. Is that what you said? Yeah, I said Did you melony. Say that? And not the girl, the fruit. <laughs> so this is something That's you can go up there and pick it up? Or no? You can't. So no. They, um, yeah. Nothing that we drink is available. So I think they're... Um, <laughs> Unfortunately for everyone else. Their release... So when they, when they do releases, I think it's 10 o'clock on every other Saturday, they'll release two or three beers. And then the release is from 12 until 4 p.m., Saturday and Sunday for whatever that release is. Um, their their max is usually I think it was four four packs on that, and then uh, some seltzers. They released some seltzers as well. Those seltzers were um, uh, two four pack releases. Hey, as well. okay, give us some feedback. Should we do seltzers? Yeah, people, let us know if we should do seltzers because a lot of breweries are making them now. I mean, you know, my kids love them. Yeah, the uh, I mean they're all right. I haven't I haven't found one that's my go to, but and that's you know I, I feel the same way. Like I'd probably keep them around. Like I'm like, hey, if these you know, they, so I, that's more what I went up there for. Vice this, I actually wanted to grab a a couple of seltzers, thinking that'd be something unique, like a smoothie style seltzer that they mm-hmm. just released. This this uh, slice brand that they uh, I denied him though. I'm yeah, the no. Charlie Charlie put the the kibosh on us uh, popping a a seltzer. He said this is a we'll craft get you a couple of beer truly's. show, <laughs> not a <laughs> craft seltzer show. <laughs> <laughs> so the uh, no, we can we if we get feedback that somebody wants to hear about it, we'll do it. Yeah, I mean. What if you get Christina from uh, Casa de Oro that says, uh, it sounds kind of like a man. Christina, huh? <laughs> yeah. Hey, you guys <laughs> it sounds, it sounds need like- to do some seltzers. Yeah, well, guess what, Christina? We don't care That's about your Casa de Oro. I'll come up with a little better name yeah. when I uh, that was, send my feedback. Gave it away right now. I mean, yeah. Seeing you're wearing a necklace that says Christina on it. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, I'd, I'd like to try those seltzers. I we will. We've we tried will. them. We've had them. I think Modern Times makes some pretty good ones. I've tasted them. Uh, there's uh, Ashland. There's. Um, I think this is a different run, is what they're saying. The what? More fruit smoothie. What? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. You know the um, while while we're kind of talking about seltzers, and we're, uh, now I'm interested. So the um, <laughs> I, I just got to bring up this Instagram post that uh, I wonder if I can still find it, but the um, uh. Jeff at uh, um, it, he just the guy's so funny. Jeff from Burning Beard had posted he he was uh, um, I think he was drinking a beer. Actually, he was eating menudo. He was like in the he was at Burning Beard. Did you do you guys watch the Burning the Beard band or the food? He was eating. Uh, he's like <laughs> like taste testing for our new hazy menudo, menudo. double dry hop seltzer IPA. Wow, <laughs> that's really wow. that's pretty funny. You know, that I guess is. this is like like oh. Yeah, he's uh, kind of funny, just uh, poking fun at like. Um, he's got a little bit of a sense of humor. And, yeah, that guy. Uh, uh, I'm I'm a fan. I like him. Makes great beer. Yeah, and absolutely. The, uh, and, and certainly is. Can't uh, wait till funny, that seltzer comes out. So, yeah, no, I'm definitely <laughs> looking for that menudo <laughs> <Yeah>. seltzer, <laughs> burning beard seltzer. Yeah, yeah. We'll yeah. What, would that, what would that? Be we'll like? see. <laughs> Hopefully, menudo flavored. <laughs> that would be interesting. No, it was, it hot carrots would uh, be better. Yeah, I think hot carrots. Okay, so I'm I'm amused. Highly amused with this beer. It's good. Yeah, that's all right. I mean, that's definitely Electric pretty done smooth. Done their uh, job. Too bad there's no more left. Yeah. So they, um, yeah, they they. So they don't have a like a normal beer. They they don't, their brewery is not open except on Saturday when they're giving. Well, no, they yeah, have so available beers up there. You can go they, up there and drink all day you off can't. tap. The, like what? COVID, the whole COVID. Oh, piece. Yeah, but they do have a but, beer line that would be normally served if you went up there. I don't know if they have. You know, I haven't been there enough to uh, to know if they it, like if they have like um, what their regular, you know, their five core beers or whatever. Right. I know they had you know five. They probably had ten or twelve beers on tap when we swung in there. Well, we were looking um, for something that they had just been fresh out of because they were they were filling crowlers and they, were, uh, they wouldn't. They had fill a can it with release. The, yeah, I think of an IPA or double IPA, and then they had the can release of the. Uh, the smoothie. They gave us crawlers of the smoothie, but we couldn't couldn't get cans of the. What the we IPA did get was good IPA. though. It Very was phenomenal. Yeah. yeah, and this the, is excellent. But the only way to take to go beer, I think, at that point was uh, for a lot of it, any of the hazies was yeah. just their their can release every couple of weeks, right. and there would be people lined up 
down the block. Right. Well, they're not a big brewery. I mean, they're not. Yeah. They're not even uh, burning beard yeah. size. So I I'm mean, here for the little guy. Just make sure yeah, that well, nobody drives up there and goes. Yeah. yeah no. Yeah. No. Yeah. You certainly. So. So at this point, don't be driving anywhere. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it is a, you want to make sure you secure that beer every other, they, they, um, I think they do a release right on their webpage and it's really cool how they do their releases. Like a lot of breweries, uh, you know, use the event, right? Where, um, I, I was thinking about this today or, or actually when I was leaving that brewery, a lot of, a lot of places use event, right? So let's say it's a, uh, you know, let's 30, let's just say use $30 or whatever. By the time you have your beer, it's like $36, you know, with tax, event bright fees, right? Like, so you're like, oh, hey, it's a $28 bottle of beer. And, and in the end, it's 36 bucks or something. Right. You're like, yeah. where did all the rest of the fees come? So when you, when you order through them, uh, tax is included and there's no event fees. So you pay nothing when you make, cool. when you place the order. So you just go on their that website, really cool. place your order, show up and pay. Hey, dirty grass, dirty glass, Chris. Why are you? I got out four glasses for you. You're on the same one. Four glasses. I'm on the same one too. What? Well, Jeff. Jeff started us off on that. He did. He, he did. yeah. Dirty glass crew. No, I don't. I don't mind it. I'm just. I mean, next time I'm just you know, bringing one glass for you yeah. guys. The, the clearer the glass, the better because it, then it gonna, looks better on pictures. I'm going to complain that you did the uh, cartoon. Well, I do. One. I think it's totally awesome. But that is the I, best. If I pour, taster you can get if in I the pour country. a beer in there and then somebody's like, I can't see the color inside that. Yeah, one, you can't. Look at that. Draft. That is that is the beer zombie three. It is, it is totally the best. That glass is the best one. best tasting glass I've ever gotten yeah. from that any. That guy does have some uh some really, really cool artwork. I'm gonna take some pictures. So yeah, they are, uh, you'll be able to around. see those on the on the web page. He um he collabs with with Mason. Um Yeah. And they, I've got a couple of those. Danny and Brianna bring the, uh, my daughter and her husband bring those down from Vegas. And Chris is his name, and he is a really neat guy. Yeah. Super, super friendly. I mean, a, totally approachable. Loves talking about beer. Super nice guy. He's got a good thing going in Vegas. Man, oh, gosh. If anybody's in town there, go to Beer Zombies in Vegas. Go to 595. Those places Abel Baker. Abel Baker, too. But, I mean, I'm, well, then you're going to get 595 food at Abel Baker. So, I mean, and uh, there's another uh, restaurant I'm going to I'm gonna push when anybody's out there. There's another one. I don't know the name of it yet, so I can't, um, I can't say it yet. So, but when I do, I'll let you know. Because if you're in Vegas, there's so many good beer places now that are popping up. But, you know, the... The true crafty guys are like Beer Zombies, Abel Baker, um, Love Lady. I think is in uh, is in uh, Henderson, Nevada, yeah. and uh, that's a good brewery too. So they're one they're, of those guys should come out here and do a show. Well, we could probably go there and do it too. Yeah, that's true. I'm a big beers, fan of going. The beers of Las Vegas. The beers of Las Vegas. I, I, Vegas is cheap. I right would now. I would be surprised if if they, any of them would deny us just a you know a short uh, hour long yep. type thing. So we'll check that out. But uh, I'll I'll send my my uh, my people from Vegas in there and see if they can do it. Give you an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> there we go. But uh, yeah, it's good beers, Chris. What are we going to next? So the uh, the final beer. Uh, that that we have uh, here is um, I brought this one, Charlie. For it's uh, so tiny, we're going to celebrate uh, not only Christmas, we're going to celebrate your birthday this week. Little oh, uh, man. I brought a a little coconut convergence. Uh, so last year, that uh, sounds dangerously good. Horace had done a collaboration with um, Three Chiefs, um, another you know small brewery in in Orange County, and they they. Or in LA, they did a couple of couple of different beers. They did a, a coconut crown and a hazelnut crown. Uh, this coconut crown had, I, I think, it was seven different variants of of, uh, of coconut. Um, so they this is the barrel aged version of of the uh, the coconut crown. Coconut crown was probably my favorite stout that um, uh, that that Kyle had released there in in year two. They- um, they put extra wax on this thing. Yeah, Charlie's struggling over there, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just keep talking. Dude, over there I lifted he... that thing, took all brute force that I had. So well, the you guys, there's not enough for you guys. I'm yeah. Right so now. Kyle had recently said that this was his uh, favorite beer that he had released so this good. year. Wow. Um, was 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 this beer? Wow. They uh, so the um, 
the the write up on it: Buffalo Trace Bourbon Barrel Aged Stout with coconut candy, coconut syrup, coconut water, desiccated coconut, shredded coconut, and toasted coconut added. I love that Buffalo Trace. Yeah, so it's a good bourbon. They um, it's it's uh, his favorite beer that he's released this year. Um, it's getting phenomenal reviews. I, I've been uh, been holding off on popping it. Yeah. Wow. No, I didn't. Oh, I, I was fighting for the dirty glass. Oh, there you go. There you go. It That's, smells like just toasted coconuts. For sure. Will you pass me that bottle? No. Yes, I'm taking it. Yes, I'm drinking yes. out of the dang bottle. So the, um, are you? Is no, you no. I'm drinking out of a glass. I, um, Who do you think I'm a savage? <laughs> he's a savage. Uh, so I, I've been excited to uh, to pop this bottle. Look at the um, viscosity on that, Joe. Good I brought Lord. this one, uh, Charlie, for your birthday. Thank you, sir. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Cheers. Cheers. We're going we're gonna to light them up here. Cheers Oh, to Chris is taking that. a picture. I got to get a picture of it. I, I should have given you the clear glass. To prove that I, uh, that I actually drank it. I was looking at some clear glasses. Uh, oh, my. Amazon. Oh, my. That's some holy cow! It's got so much coconut in it. Yeah, I don't. Um, you know, I don't. I don't. I don't think I check in every beer wow. that I have, but I certainly like to. Man, I love that molasses. Check some whales back end on it. Woo, that's legit. Once again, Horace comes through. Yeah, that's a phenomenal beer. I mean, that all that coconut. So the um, gosh. That that barrel is super super. You know what I want to do is I want to get what they're done with the coconut. I want to just make like a cake out of it, like a coconut barrel aged. It tastes like German chocolate cake. That's what it would is. Would be it's like legit. a German chocolate coconut. That cake is with. serious. No, it's the barrel smell. I like. I could I could just smell this this glass all night. Yeah, you got a lot of barrel in that one. I mean, smells, it's just but wafting. it's just the perfect kiss when you. Uh, you, I smell boozy on the on the nose, but it doesn't taste like boozy. Not at all. Wow. Super impressive. Let me check yeah, out no, the, the bottle. Yeah, here. what do you add on an ABV on that thing? Is there there's um like you smell it and it smells a lot of barrel. Take a guess, because I think you'll never guess. I don't fifteen. Twelve point two. Ladies and gentlemen, we're at sixteen point two. 16.2 percent that's so there's a, a lot of, like that's, that's really a well cracker let me tell you because like, you you smell it and you smell a lot of barrel like a really really good barrel presence you taste but it smells it, you, boozy barrel you taste that, that it's not there it's not there so the so the a lot cool of times, part is that this isn't a 12 ounce i think it is i think right? it's a yeah, it's what a, is it 350 milliliter uh, yeah it's a tiny glo- tiny bottle yeah like but a, you know what that's 12, what it, but this is what they should be in that's, yes. No, yeah. not really. No, I agree. Because you don't want a bomber <laughs> hey, at that. Ch- check this out. Hey. If we'd have been, this is amazing. But if we, if Blue Bear was in this, we'd get not enough of it. The I, I, I just think I think it's such a treat. Like the um, I would I would like to see more of them. You know, the barrel age. The I don't want a whole like I don't want a bomber. Of Wait that a minute. Beer. Wait a minute. It says coconut candy. Yeah. I didn't hear you say that. Yeah, so they- um, Coconut syrup, coconut water, and what is it? De- can't see a that. Desiccated, desiccated? Desiccated coconut, coconut, shredded coconut, and toasted coconut. It's amazing. Holy yeah, it's, it's moly. It literally just blows my mind. Yeah, no, it's crazy. Are there any more of these? Ah, the, oh, that's it. That's- <laughs> no, yeah, that was it. And that was, you know, I think he was like- um, Gosh, I forget how that release went, but there was it. He had been kind of teasing it for a while, and good and, tease, um, good tease. They guess yeah, what, that, guys? No, there's no more. There, he's you know, the, and that's the that's the best beer club I think uh, around. Yeah, like absolutely. they, um, they, I mean, first of all, it's the only way that you can get his beer, and yeah. his beer is phenomenal. But then this year, he's done 13 single barrel whiskey picks. Mm. Where he uh, he's he's worked with. I mean, there's been it's run the gamut. How do uh, they pick? I wonder. You know what? I'd like to really what pick that his process. Brain. Looks yeah, like. how they go about which barrels they want to use for which beer. Yeah, because you know French oak, you know 
bourbon barrel. Yeah, how does know, he tie them to a different yeah. beer? That that'd be a, that a, yeah. a really well. Really even, cool. the whole, even the bourbon barrels is yeah. That's a whole it's chapter it's gonna be a itself in a book, with that. right? It's not just what's available, but it's also like how they make their bourbon. Yeah. So I watched um you know this uh, a couple of their their kind of their picks and they they send them like what or what the like I guess in the COVID time. They'll send them a bunch of like samplers of of the different barrels. Like, hey, which of these would you like to to try? These are what we think are are tasting good, and then they taste them, looking for the flavors that that they want out of that. But that's um, man, that whole whiskey market. That's something else. I gotta actually go up to uh, um, pick up a couple of uh, High West uh, uh, single barrel picks of his at a at a little liquor store in L.A. Who he he does these single barrel picks with. Amazing Need security. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I was actually okay. gonna do that the other day, but that'll be me. I didn't have my security. My security was still out on the on the road. The um. <laughs> so yeah, no, I'm I'm super excited for what that club has to, has to offer. This year has been phenomenal. All the barrel aged beers. Um, no, was, uh, everything everything he's done has been absolutely. Phenomenal. That gentleman's talented. Yeah, he's he's at another level. I think. Than anybody else on the stout level. Let's put it that way. I mean, even this this collaboration now with uh, is it is it Mason? Yep. That's that's going to be super interesting. I mean, I can't wait for what they're coming out with next. If this is what they're producing, these cans already. I mean, if that's their first release, I can't imagine what the next and the next and the next after that is going to be. We'll be there to taste them. Thank goodness we know people. Yep. <laughs> So there it is. Uh, I guess that's a uh, sort of recap. We did the Humble C Super Pop, phenomenal beer. Mm-hmm. Uh, we did the the Ferris uh, the Ferris Falcon, uh, their first release. Uh, Every one of these are top still drinking beers. Great. Yeah, no, that was phenomenal. I mean, Electric. If, if you're drinking beers and you're not drinking these, you need to find them. It's a good episode. Little uh, uh, a couple Charlie's uh, birthday episode. Birthday I, I tried episode, to bring yeah. some beers that we uh, that we would enjoy. Sort of a Christmas and birthday episode. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, exactly. So when you know we celebrate our eight pound six ounce baby Jesus and our thank you. eight their ten pound two ounce uh, baby Charlie's. <laughs> That's a big baby. <laughs> big baby. <laughs> uh, so well, there it is, guys. Cheers, uh, my friend. Hey, next cheers. Week. Thank you. So to summarize today's show, we had Super Pops Party Mermaid, a fruited sour for Humble Sea Brewing in Santa Cruz, California. The second beer was Split Second Glimpse of a Bird Hurtling Pass and Away, probably the longest name of a beer we've had so far, which was a double dry hopped double IPA with Citra and Galaxy Hops from Ferris Falcon, a radical new concept by Horace Age Ales and Mason Ale Works out of San Marcos, California. We then had the Phantom of Perfect Form, a triple IPA from Electric Brewing up in Marietta, California. And our fourth beer was Coconut Convergence, a buffalo traced bourbon barrel aged imperial stout with coconut candy, syrup, and water, plus dried, shredded, and toasted coconut from Horace Aged Ales in Oceanside, California. To subscribe to the Podcraft Show, get links to all the beers and breweries mentioned. See pictures of the beers we examined today and to connect with the podcast via email or social media, then head over to thepodcraft.com for all that info. Also, as we close today's show, we have three requests for listeners of the show. First, please continue to recommend the show to the craft beer friends and family members in your life. Word of mouth is one of the best ways we can increase listeners. And second, please consider rating and reviewing the podcast on the platform you're listening to it on. This helps others find the podcast via search and discovery on the many podcast platforms that are out there. And third, if you have construction criticism on how we can improve, then please send us email via the links on the website. Also, let us know if it's okay to occasionally review some of the craft breweries doing seltzer drinks. For Chris and Charlie, this is Tech Guy Steve signing off for this week's The Podcraft Beer Show. Thanks so much for sharing your time and attention with us. Have a great rest of your day and Happy New Year. The Podcraft Podcast is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution, Share Alike 4.0 International. 
All Rights Reserved 2020. The podcast is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, please email thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for information, educational, and discussion purposes only in compliance with the fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go.